I'm Heather with Living the Life. So I wanted to give you a couple of uh, how-to on how to get um, dressed warm and go outside in the cold winter tundra. So I have lived um, here in my state for most of my life and it's a cold state. And so we just got our big first snowfall. We got to go out and dig ourselves out and help others. I got a lot of single ladies we got to help all the single ladies and get out of their driveway today so when you go out or you're going to go skiing we've kind of been picking up skiing you want to dress warm so do you see my schnazzy outfit this is my what they call a base layer so it is made of merino wool 100 percent merino wool you do not want anything cotton you want um uh you can get a blend of like a poly something can't remember what they call it. I'll post it underneath this video, but you can get a blend or like 100% merino wool. This is gonna wick away sweat. It's actually soft. Wool sounds scratchy, but it's soft and it's super, super warm. And so that's what you're gonna start out with is your base layer. And then you're gonna put on your next layer. So my next layer is gonna be my ski pants, snow pants, whatever you wanna call them. Um, so this is gonna actually, these are like insulated a little bit, but they're actually going to uh, be waterproof as well. So whether I'm skiing or it's snowing right now, uh, I'll open the front door. Come with me. Check this out. Hello. Do you see that snow? Let's come over here. Let's come over here to my Japanese maple. And you can see like this poor baby. I got to come out here and help it out. It is heavy with the snow. So I've got to get a broom and knock that off before I have it lose its branches. They break. I got another maple out there. All right, so this is what we're coming out to uh, to do. So another warm winter thing that you need. Once your my feet, once they get cold, like my whole body's cold. There's no warming up. So you want to make sure you've got good stuff on your feet. So wool socks. You're gonna to want to get those. You can get them at any sporting goods stores. They've even had really great sales, like killer sales at Costco, like three for 11 or 12 dollars like that's a killer deal i called a sock outlet and they couldn't even come close to that price so wool socks all the way and these are something that you're going to want to keep like all this stuff we're talking about in storage or have for um, self-reliance if ever you know you live in a climate like this and power was to go out or there's any sort of disaster like you're, you're not going to have heat so how are you going to stay warm so good nice warm clothes so these are going to be my socks um, I'm going to put on a coat. This coat has got um, insulation in it and uh, a lot of times I wear a scarf as well. Today I'm just going out and I'm going to shovel snow so I'm not actually like going skiing. Um, but uh, you can also do at a Costco nice merino wool hats. I'm going to go with something warm that covers my ears yet still cute and fashionable today. Um, and then I'm gonna do, I'll show you boots. Like boots are an important thing as well, but aren't gonna get your feet wet. They're gonna keep them insulated, warm, all that jazz. So boots are another big deal. But uh, I think we're pretty much ready to go out and take over the town and shovel some snow. So I'll be nice and warm and I will not be wet. And I am ready to go.